I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on graph. Here is a very important example where we will understand how to find graphing solution of equations. The question here is, draw the graph of the function y equals to x square minus 4x plus 1 and then use the graph to find approximate solution to the following. So these are the two equations, x square minus 4x plus 1 equals to minus 2.75 and b is x square minus 5x equals to x minus 5. Let us first sketch the graph. To sketch the graph, we'll adopt a very simple strategy. We'll take some values of x, calculate the corresponding y points, and then uh, plot them on the Cartesian plane. So x will take values like, we will begin with 0, y is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 1. So then we'll calculate x squared, we'll calculate minus 4x, and we'll add 1 to it. Once that is done, we'll get the y values. So that will give us x and y coordinates, correct? So let's begin with 0 to begin with. So if I place 0 for x, x square will be 0 minus 4x is going to be 0 and 1 will always remain 1. If I substitute now to get the y value we need to just add them up right so you get 0 1 as your coordinate point. For x equals to 1 square will be 1 minus 4 and this is always going to be 1 we can add this up 2 minus 4 is minus 2 for x equals to 2, square will be plus 4, minus 8. This will be always 1. So we get minus 3 here. For x equals to 3, square is 9, minus 12. This is always 1. So 12 minus 12 take away 10 will be minus 2. For 4, we'll have square as 16, minus 16, and 1 will give us 1. Um, and then for 5, we'll have 25 here, minus 20 and 1. So that gives us uh, 5 and 1, 6, right? Let's take a value minus 1. Minus 1 square will be 1. That becomes plus 4 and 1. We get 6 here. For minus 2, square will be 4. That is going to be 8 and 1, 13. So these are the values which you get. Well, you also see here that we get a minimum value at x equals to 2, right? So that gives you the minimum value. And then from there, we do symmetry. Minus 2, 1, 6, minus 2, 1, 6, right? Okay. So let's uh, plot it on a coordinate plane. We are taking values from minus 2 to 5. So it's a good idea to uh, use most of the part of the right-hand side now. So I'll draw the y-axis kind of here. The minimum value is minus 3. So, so I'll keep it x-axis slightly lower. So we have a bigger quadrant 1 now. Okay. So once you have the values, you are in a good position to decide about the scale and the position of the coordinate axis, right? So let's begin with the minimum value. At 2, we have minus 3, right? So at 2, we have minus 3. So that is the minimum value. It goes up to minus 2. So the steps are 1, 3, 5, 7. And that should really help you. So you can also go by step and then check it up, right? So from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? Like this. From the symmetry, we can plot the points very easily, right? and then kind of like this, right? So that becomes the parabola y equals to x square minus 4x plus 1. Now let's connect this parabola with the help of a smooth curve, right? So, so we have a curve here. We can always extend as since we could have taken more points. So that gives you the graph of the given function y equals to x squared minus 4x plus 1, right? So I hope that is clear. So 1, calculate the values, you get the vertex and all other points. 
Second, we verified that the steps 1, 3, 5, 7 is being followed. That means calculation is correct, right? Okay, so the first part is done. Now, the second part is to find the solution of this equation, x squared minus 4x plus 1, the graph of which we have given, equals to minus 2.75. Okay, so, so that is minus 1, right? This is plus 1. So minus 2, that is minus 3, which is the minimum. So 2.75 will be kind of here. So this is our line, which is, which is, you can write this as y equals to minus 2.75. So these two points on the graph are the solutions. So the intersection of y equals to y equals to minus 2.75 with the given graph gives us the solution, right? So, so we can actually uh, relate, we can now find these points here approximately. We could say that this is uh, uh, more, than, more than one, of course, and less than two. So we can estimate this as one point. So we can say this point here, let's say A and B, right? So from the graph, it is not very accurate. So for part A, we get point A. There are two solutions, right? So part A is, when we are saying the, the solution, we mean X value. So, so the part A is, uh, point A here is, uh, X value is one point, we can take it as 1.5. 1.5, the y value will assume this to be 2.75 negative, correct? Okay, and b is at x equals 2. It's better to write x value. x equals to 2.5. Is that clear? So the two solutions which we get are 1.5 and 2.5 from the graph. Now these are always approximate values since from a graph you can't really read very accurately, correct? Now let's find solution of part B, which is we need to find solution to x squared minus 5x equals to x minus 5. Now the graph is for x squared minus 4x. How do we get minus 4x plus 1 here? You could get minus 4x plus 1 provided you add x on both the sides and also 1. So what we are going to do here is we are going to add x plus 1 on both the sides, right? So we'll add x plus 1 on both the sides. So once you do that, what you get here is the equation which I'm going to write here. So we get x squared minus 4x plus 1 equals 2. When you add x here, we get 2x minus 5 plus 1 is minus 4. So we get x squared minus 4x plus 1, which is the graph, and a line 2x minus 4. So if I sketch the line 2x minus 4, then the points of intersection of these two will be the solution. So let's do it. So now we'll sketch the line y equals to 2x minus 4 on the same graph. Minus 4 is the y-intercept, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? And the slope is 2. So rise of 2 and run of 1. So we get this point. Rise of 2, run of 1. Rise of 2, 1. Rise 2, 1. Rise 2, 1. So we get these two points. So if I draw this line, these are my solutions. Do you see that? So I get two solutions here. The one value is x equals 2, 1, right? The other one is x equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So these are the two solutions for the given equation. x squared minus 5x equals to x minus 5 from the graph. It does make sense to you, right? So that is how we could use graphs to find solution. I hope this step is absolutely clear. So the idea here is do the adjustment so that you could use the graph already plotted and on the other side you get equation of something in this case it was a line 
So intersection of these two will give us the common points and those are the solutions. X value is the solution, right? So X equals to 1 and X equals to 5 is the solution for part B. So I hope that is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.